Hello, it's me Coco. You might be wanting to transition to a more eco-friendly lifestyle and that is awesome. And you might be wondering, how do I start? Well, I'm gonna tell you five things to look for when you're shopping for everyday items. There are a lot of videos out there about how to shop sustainably for fashion, but for regular everyday items, there's a couple more tips. Fun fact, my husband just got back from a long stay in the US and so while he was there, I ordered a few things that I can't get here in Germany. And so I'm gonna show you what I got as examples of these things. And also there are some things that I've had for a while, it's all mixed up. So you're gonna see examples of actual eco-friendly products. I have a couple really interesting and exciting products to show you, so make sure to watch to the end. And also, I make videos about vegan food, sustainability, radical self-care, and if you're new here and you're into that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can watch some more of my videos. And um, if the mood strikes you at any point in this video, hit that like button because it lets me know that my viewers are really into this kind of thing. And it tells YouTube that people like this video and more people should watch it. I paid for all these things with my own money. So this is not an ad for anything. All of the opinions are my own. I am an ambassador for a couple brands that I'm going to mention because I love them. And I also have some discount codes for the brands that I'm ambassador for and some other ones that just give a discount code to everybody. I'm gonna have them in the description box if you wanna check them out and get a deal on some of these things if you're interested. All right, let's go. The number one thing that you should be looking for to shop sustainably, period, is shopping secondhand. Like anything secondhand, you're good. I'm just gonna use the classic example. Guys, check out how cute this shirt is. And it's so summery. But shopping secondhand is a really great way to not only shop more sustainably, but also save a lot of money. And also everything behind me and almost everything in this entire house that I live in was acquired secondhand. You can get pretty much anything secondhand and sometimes that means even like cooler stuff or more original or unique things because it's not the things that are in the store right now that everybody's trying to buy. Along those notes is like repurposed materials. I got this package from Branching Together. Just in case you haven't heard of them, they're really cool. They repurpose buckets from a local bakery to make all sorts of really useful things. And they also have some other things made from reclaimed wood. So this is what I got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, check this out. This is the item that I got from Branching Together. How cute is this? It's made from recycled wood and it has these wildflower patterns hand burned into the wood. It's super unique and cool. And they have a couple other things. Like I really love the triangle shelf that they have on their website also. So that's secondhand repurposed stuff. The next thing that you should be looking for is plastic free packaging. It might seem impossible, but it is possible, trust me. I'm gonna show you one product that is really exciting because it doesn't have plastic. I've never seen this before. This is from Bite Toothpaste Bits and it is their whitening gel. Now, I'm thoughtful enough to care about the environment, but I'm vain enough to care if my teeth are white. And one of the things that I had to kind of give up when I decided to live more sustainably, more low impact, was white strips and like whitening stuff because literally all of them come with so much plastic, it's not even funny. So when I saw this, I was like, what? The whitening gel comes in this tiny little glass bottle and it has this compostable applicator, like a compostable applicator, even with these little bristles. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see a full review of this product because I'm super excited about it. But yeah, plastic free, glass, metal, wood, recyclable. Recyclable, compostable, perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Let me show you something else that's really cool that I've been wanting to try forever is this Besame Cosmetics Black Cake Pan Mascara. Mascara is kind of one of those things that you can't really keep for too long because of hygiene issues. And it always comes packaged in plastic until now. So Besame is not the only company doing this, although Bite is, I think, the only company that's doing this right now. If you guys have heard of another zero waste teeth whitening situation, let me know, but I'm pretty sure this is the only one. This is the mascara. It comes in this tin and then it's like wrapped up with some paper. I'll take the paper off to show you guys what it is. This is the mascara cake. It looks like this. It's water activated. It came with this. This is actually not plastic free because it is a little plastic 
thing. You can use this applicator to apply it to your lashes, which maybe this is the kind of thing they used back in 1920, because Besame is kind of like a nostalgia kind of based brand. But this tin is refillable. You don't even need the tin, you can just get the refill and then put it in whatever tin you maybe already have and use a spoolie or a mascara brush that you already have to apply it. Again, I'm gonna be trying this and reviewing it on my channel. Another plastic-free product that I love is from Face Theory. They have a lot of moisturizers and cleansers that come in these glass jars. So what's really cool about it is that not only is this kind of packaging really easily recyclable, glass and aluminum can be recycled infinitely in an infinity amount of times. But th this is also really easily repurposed. So I can use this for spices. I can make it into a candle holder. I'm using one right now to hold my toothbrushes and my razor. This is really cool. It's like, just get back to basics. Keep it simple. Face theory could be even better if they were making refills, but this is really cool. Plastic free or really low plastic packaging is really the way to go. Now you might think that recycling is like the end all be all. It is not. There is something even better in my opinion than recycling and it is composting. More and more products are compostable and also come in compostable packaging. So let me show you some examples. This is my deodorant. It's almost empty now, but it's from Native and it comes in a cardboard tube. I really like this one, but there are also actually a growing number of natural deodorants that come in a cardboard tube. So this is something really cool to look out for because what are you gonna repurpose that deodorant tube for when you're done with it? It's like almost certainly going to go to landfill and boo, that's not cool. This here is another example of a plastic-free compostable product that replaces one that could have had plastic. This is my new kitchen sponge thing. <laughs> you might have seen these around marketed as Swedish di dish cloths. Swedish dish cloths. You might have seen these marketed around as Swedish dish cloths. Di sweet. Can you say that 10 times fast? <laughs> Swedish dish cloth, Swedish dish cloth. They're actually pretty commonplace in Europe and pretty affordable too. This one was two euros. It's partially wet. If you can see dry, it's a little bit more stiff. This is made from wood fiber and cotton. And so it is completely compostable. And when I'm done with it, I can throw it in my compost bin before I get another one, which is pretty cool. Okay, now check this out. Compostable phone case, compostable phone grip, people. How cool is this? I use this all the time, like constantly because my phone is actually kind of big and heavy and the phone grip kind of helps me grip it a lot. And it's good for like when I'm viewing in bed. <laughs> If you know what I mean, I'm not gonna drop it on my face. Why is this a big freaking deal? Because this phone case means that I'm not gonna buy a plastic phone case. I'm not gonna buy a plastic like pop socket or whatever, pop grip, whatever thing. I used to get like rings and stuff that were completely not recyclable, but now I have a totally eco-friendly compostable option to protect my phone, which is like a big invest. I mean, it's important for my life. Maybe that's relatable to you. You want to protect your phone. This is this is really cool because it means that there are fewer plastic phone cases. I might even feel a little bit less guilty about getting more than one phone case. I'm thinking about getting another one. I have a good reason. Check the description box for a discount code because these phone cases and grips and even the eyewear that didn't fit my face, it's a really cool product. And so if it works for you, I totally recommend you get it. The next thing to look for, and this is like, this is super cool that we're seeing this more and more, is refillable packaging. Here's an example. I have these Vite tooth wash bits. You can order these with a subscription service and you get the container once and then the refills come to you in compostable packaging. I already told you, super cool. I've heard a bit about these. Some people love them, some people hate them. So I'm gonna try these out. Keep an eye out for a review on this channel or on my TikTok sometime soon. <laughs> and they even sent me this cool little travel case for the little bites. This one is crazy. It's a new company called Izzy and they make a zero waste mascara. So let me just unbox this for a second. This is the shipping packaging and look at it. It's a makeup bag with even like slots for your makeup brushes. How cool is that? Like very thoughtful. The packaging is something that you can and should repurpose, but it can be repurposed for something else. And I'm gonna get to that in a second, but first, this is the mascara that I got. So I know I already got a zero waste mascara, but I really wanted to try this one out um, because it's like 
seems to be brand new on the market and I don't know who's tried it, how many people have tried it, but check this out. All metal container, it's like pretty heavy and if you like that kind of heavy, luxurious feeling, this is for you. Whoa, nice, wow. This brush is cool, it has like a cool wave pattern. The cool thing about this container is that it is refillable. You send it back to them and then they send it back to you, sterilized and refilled with your mascara. So it's like a real zero waste mascara. I actually, I need to review this in a different video. But anyway, what I realized is, this isn't just a makeup bag. You can ship it back to them in the bag and it comes with a return label. So you just like put the return label in here in this little like pocket for the return label and you can ship it back to them. Genius. I mean, this is like super cool. I'm really impressed with this concept so far, but will it perform? We'll see. <laughs> Again, look for refillable packaging. All sorts of things can be refillable. Your soap, your shampoo, like anything that comes in a liquid form, tab form, you know, stuff like that. Next one is look for products that are made from recycled materials. Sometimes you can see this with natural fibers, but where I'm seeing it the most is with recycled polyester. So basically what that means is like, you know all of that plastic that's building up in the recycling centers because nobody knows really what to do with it? Some companies are innovating and making cool products from that plastic. This is a really good way to reclaim and to, um, what's the word, like sequester plastic. It's just this thing that's so abundant in our environment and we need to find really innovative ways to sequester it, <laughs> to keep it out of the environment and into places where it's going to be really useful. This package is from Parade. It has already been opened, but check this out. It's underwear. It comes in these 100% compostable garment bags. Hello, compostable plastic films are here, you guys. If any company's making some lame ass excuse why they're not using it, let them know. We're on to them. It's all BS. You can find compostable uh, plastic alternative stuff like already. Look at this. A very cute pair of undies made from recycled plastic. So I've been really anxious to try these on because I really want to see how they fit. Wow, they are so light. It has a cottony layer in the gusset, and then these ones also have like a mesh side. I really like Parade for a couple reasons. Number one, the colors are so cute. Like, look at this bright green right here. They also have options for more high-waisted underwear, which honestly um, is my preference. So check these out, cute Parade undies. Not your grandma's undies. But how will they fit? Maybe I'll do a review in another video. Maybe I'll do it on my TikTok, I don't know. Anyway, if your swimwear, your activewear, or even some of your underwear is not made from organic sustainable materials or recycled polyester, it is not worth your money. If you're looking for activewear or swimwear, my favorite, favorite, favorite is Wolven. They make really cool tops like this. The thing that really sets them apart from other activewear companies that are making um, stuff made from recycled plastic, plastic bottles, is the versatility of the designs. Like this can be worn four ways. One, two, three, four. How cool is that? And I absolutely love them. I literally wear them every single day for my workouts, for lounging around, or for going out into town. So it just kind of goes to show, you can make really cool, high quality stuff made from recycled materials, and other things might be made from recycled materials too, rug pads, rugs themselves, anything. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. I'm also gonna mention organic cotton, linen, hemp, Tencel, these are all really sustainable materials to make clothing from, and if you wanna buy something brand new, these are really great. Uh, materials to look for in your textiles. Also honorable mention for other things to look for, local products because obviously you're cutting down emissions from it being nearby. Also small businesses, companies or products that are fair trade, which means that the people who are producing these products that you are living your best life, enjoying are paid fairly for their work and fair trade certifications also cut down on something really serious, which is slavery in the supply chain literal slavery. People are literally 
working as slaves to bring us some of our chocolate, some of our cotton, seafood, if you saw Seaspiracy. You don't want none of that. Make sure that your stuff is fair trade because it's not just sustainability, it's ethics too that's really important when you're shopping. You also wanna look for things that are non-toxic to your own body. So that would be like clean beauty brands and clean cleaning products and stuff like that. Keep an eye out for that kind of thing as well. And my last shout out is for businesses that are owned and operated by marginalized groups. So that could be people of color, women, queer folk, any anybody because as members of marginalized groups they are already swimming upstream when it comes to business and life and we could all use a little bit more diversity and representation in all aspects of our lives so support those businesses i'm really really passionate about this so um i really want to hear from you let's have a little discussion in the comments section what are some things that you look for when you are shopping sustainably and are there any sustainable brands worth mentioning that i miss let me know in the comments and maybe i can make a follow-up video i want to say thank you so much for watching and being a part of my channel if you liked this video here's another one that you might like and don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can see more content from me Thanks again. Bye.